Hey, welcome back to Tiger Tech Videos. In this video, we're going to talk about Google Drive again, and this time we're going to look at something called Workspaces. Workspaces are a new feature that popped up recently that you'll see under the Priority tab. So we're going to take a look at that and show you how it could be a quick and easy way to store files or organize files so you have quick access to them. So one way to increase the speed of moving around with some of the Google apps would be just to type it into the bar at the top. So if you click in there and I just start typing drive, notice how it starts to pop up up there and you can see it already, I just typed in four letters and it fills in the rest because it knows that we've gone there before. And that's probably the fastest way to get to your drive. Now it's a lot faster than going over here and clicking the Google apps and then finding drive in here and clicking it. So it saves you a little time as you are moving through some of these screens. So I'd encourage you to start typing those in the top up there. So when I get to the priority section, you'll see at the top here, these are files that I've been working on recently. And if I just scroll over, you can see there's a bunch of files there that I've been working on. So down at the bottom here though, is a spot that says workspaces. And I already created three workspaces. I have one here for coaching. I have one that says discovery training and one for high school. And I actually just created one for middle school right here. So I'm gonna create another workspace to show you how to do that. All you do is click on the plus sign here where it says create workspace. So I'm gonna click on that. So this one I'm gonna title um, elementary. So what that means is now I'm gonna have a spot where I can put any files related to my elementary work that I'm doing with the elementary schools. I can put in this workspace and it'll give me quick access to those and it's what's nice about it is kind of a graphic organizer for these files instead of putting it in folders in the drive you'll be able to put it here in the workspace so i can choose files here now it says it it does a search and it's fine it looks for the word elementary actually and does a kind of a smart search for any files that would be related to that and it found some uh, notes here that i took that are handwritten um, about elementary but i'm going to choose other files here so at this point, when you hit choose other files, it takes you to your recent files. You could also look over here in your drive and you could find the files that you need. So you can add files to that workspace over here once you find them. You can put 25 files in each workspace. So the ones that you use the most, usually there's gonna be a handful that you'll wanna have access to. They could be something that would be something like schedules. For example, in the middle school file here, I just put one of the schedules. So I, I remember all the times for all the class changes. Um, when I'm meeting teachers, I wanna make sure that they might tell me hey, I'm available period four, so I have quick access to the schedule just by clicking on that and I can open that and find the times to meet with those teachers. So if you go in your drive and you wanna add something to a workspace, it's as easy as finding the file. So I'm just gonna go in some of my files here and I'm gonna click on, let's say I have uh, this testing pH lab. So I found this lab right here and maybe I wanted to add that to a workspace of science files that I was working with a teacher on. You just right click on that and then it says add to workspace. So up here when you get that add to workspace option, over here it's gonna have a drop down box with your different workspace titles on there. So you can then just designate where you want that to go and then it'll show up there. So I've been using it pretty successfully to keep track of daily tracking files that I have under my coaching file, for example, to make sure I remember all the different people I'm talking to and different meetings I need to go to. I have quick access to those files right here and I know where they are and they're right in this workspace. So I just wanted to show you that new feature in Google Drive. There's a lot more to get into with this. If you need any more specific information, please email me. Uh, we can always set up a meeting and I can go over some things with you one-on-one uh, -on -one or in small groups, whatever you prefer. Uh, until next time, have a great day and I'll see you later.